Okay, we have two people that are making investments. In this case, we have Armando and we have Naomi. We want to set up each one individually using the compound interest formula and then figure out um, who's going to have more in their account and then how much more do they have. So hopefully not too bad as far as questions go. So I've got Armando listed on the left side, Naomi on the right hand side. Both of these are going to be utilizing the compound interest formula that's listed over on the right hand side as well. So first of all, Armando has invested $5,206. So that's going to be our starting amount. The principal, 5,206 is going to get filled in for P for Armando's side at 5.5% interest per year. All right, 5.5% be our rate. But we want to write that as a decimal. So two decimal places over, 0 0.055 is going to get filled into his formula. And it's interest per year. All right, so um, per year that was compounded quarterly that compounded quarterly is important that's how many times it gets compounded and interest added to the account each year so n is going to be four for 22 years so that's the time frame that's going to go in for t all right we're going to fill all that information in in just a second and make a calculation but we also need to do one for naomi so naomi set up the same investment as armando except she invested twice as much money for half as long. So twice as much money is our starting amount, P, we're gonna double that. We're gonna take 5,206, double it, and get $10,412 Naomi's invested. Now the rate didn't change, okay? It's still 0 0.055, 5.5% for her, also compounded quarterly or four times a year but she's invested twice as much for half as long. So her time frame has gone down from 22 years to only 11 years. Okay, so all this information is gonna get filled into our compound interest formula for both of them. We can say over in Armando's case, that's A of 22, is gonna be $5,206. And then we go one plus 0 0.055, divided by four raised to the four times 22. And I get this to work out to be $17,314 and then 0.919, which I'm gonna round up to 0.92 to get to the nearest dollars and cents. Now Naomi, it's gonna be pretty similar here as far as the filling in, just using that compound interest formula, but hers is gonna look like this. A of 11, the accumulated amount after 11 years, is when we calculate $10,412 times one plus 0 0.055 divided by four raised to the four times 11 power. All right, and I'm trying to use that star to indicate multiplication up in the exponent. All right, for hers, I got this to be $18,988.572, which I'm going to round down to 0.57. So it looks like to answer these other questions, we basically just have to say in part A, who has more money in their account at the end of all of this? Well, Naomi wins that one. All right, how much more money do they have than the other person? This really isn't that bad. We're going to start with that 18,988 and we're going to subtract away 17,314.92. I got this to be $1,673.65. All right, so I hope this helps out as you're working on filling into the compound interest formula, understanding how to answer some of these questions. Good luck as you work through them.